They were protesting even before Senegal's constitutional court barred opposition leader Yusin Dor from running as president. It's thought he failed to get enough signatures supporting his candidacy. The opposition was adamant. President Abdoulaye Wad could not seek a third term. We're not going to accept anything else but our constitution, which is very clear. He doesn't have the right to run once more. It's my final word on this. It's clear and we are ready. But Senegal's constitutional court has decided Wad can run. His own government actually passed reforms to limit Senegalese leaders to only two terms. But he's now going against that to seek a third term aged 85. There have already been clashes between Wad's supporters and opponents after news he'll be allowed to run. In other parts of the country in, you know, where you have big towns and cities, um, young people have been emerging out from their homes at, the, uh, at this part of the night and then, you know, they have barricaded the national route. West African states are warning of the potential for violence. This decision now raises the stakes considerably. Wad's popularity has slumped since he was elected 11 years ago to begin work on infrastructure projects and road building. This massive statue that he had built sparked protests. Some said it offended cultural sensitivities. Others claimed it was a waste of money. Corruption scandals and opposition to his son's prominent role in government have also eroded Wad's support in recent years. World-renowned singer Yusun Dor used the force of his fame and his extensive media network to transform himself into an opposition figure. His announcement that he would run in these elections had changed the face of the opposition, but now the courts have disappointed them, and February's poll looks likely to test Senegal's stability to the limits. Will Jordan, Al Jazeera.